provide tools for building continuous delivery pipelines on AWS. Uh, next one is Code Pipeline. This is B, Code Pipeline CloudFormation. E, Amazon CloudWatch, and S3. And so the answer is B, AWS Code Pipeline and CloudFormation. So that, those were the two uh, key services that we went over uh, in lesson one. Next question, question two is, what role does Code Pipeline play in a continuous delivery pipeline? A is defines a workflow to orchestrate the build, testing, and deployment of your code every time it changes. B, it synchronizes code between two systems, for example, GitHub and S3. Code branches based on predefined workflow analysis of source code to check for known vulnerabilities. So the answer is A. So if you look at, say, uh, option D, it performs stack analysis of your of source code to check for known, known vulnerabilities. You can perform that within uh, an orchestration of code pipeline, what, what specifically you would probably be running for something like that is something like a code build. So code build would actually perform uh, the static analysis. And really, moreover, it's just one facet of um, what a service like code pipeline does. Code pipeline's purpose is really as an uh, entire end-to-end -end workflow uh, for building uh, and testing and deploying your software uh, out to end users. or in response to demand. B, a service C, it manages the provisioning of AWS resources based on templates defined in the code. D, it changes are ready to be promoted to production. So the answer is C. It manages the provisioning of AWS resources based on those declarative templates that we went over, and, um, and you define this um, in code. So while you can use AWS CloudFormation to do things like auto-scaling or to uh, deploy uh, static websites, that's really just one facet of it, um, of, of the service. AWS resources based on these templates that are defined. B is test, C is approval, and D is notify. So the answer to which one's not a valid action type is D, notify. So while you can use AWS to notify users when, say, there's an error, um, it's not an actual um, valid action type. Uh, there are only six valid action types. Uh, within AWS code pipeline at this time. Um, and that is source, build, test, deploy, approval. Which of the following is a benefit of using code pipeline? A, automate your release process. Progress at a glance. Or D, all of the above. So the answer is D, all of the above. You can automate your release processes, use your favorite tools, whether they're AWS services and tools or third-party uh, providers, and you can view your progress at a glance. You can quickly look um, at uh, AWS Code Pipeline and see if there are errors, see if it was, it was successful, and see the, the latest on the delivery of your software. Uh, and in our case, the that is our security and compliance. So next, we're going to get into lesson two.